I, being able to identify and address patterns is really important. Mm -hmm. The reason why I was able to see that the books in my home in my home library did not match my school library was because of the ability I had to recognize when something not right was happening and then to try to look for why and to not let it happen too many times over and over again. So my mom always says, you know, you shouldn't make the same mistake twice, that we need to watch out and listen to our surrounding. And that when we hear or complain about something, we should dig deeper into where that comes from. So if I'm complaining about being tired after coming home from lunch in elementary school, my mom would say, well, what did you eat for your school lunch? Oh, your school is only offering a salad bar and bagels and milk. Maybe that's why you're hungry. How does the school get money to give you those things? Did you pay? Do we have enough money in the account for you to get you know, your school lunch? So there would always be these questions and questions and questions that would lead me to a better, a better and more effective way of thinking about how I felt, what I believed in and what I saw. So I was able to think in my head, okay, my favorite teacher only has books about people that look like him. Where did the school buy these books? How do we get them in the classroom? Do we have other options? Does he get to pick? And having these questions going in my head and, and not being afraid to openly discuss them with her, that parents also have to keep these open arms to, to accept those questions and to try their best to explore those answers was always important to me.